Did you ever think this day would ever come again? I am back with attempting not to get sacked season 2. And before we get started, you are probably wondering why is the title called episode 0.5 Chris? The only reason I called it 0.5 is because so much shit has gone down in pre-season I had to show it all in one episode. So if you don't care what happened in pre-season, you might as well click off the video, which I'm hoping you don't, but... So where we ended last series, I spunked 9 million on Riyad Mahrez from Leicester City. So in order to follow the philosophy of extortionate transfer fees, I went and spunked another 6 million on Tom Ince. I'm probably going to regret that transfer. Oh, would you look at that? We've been named the overachievers of the Premier League. Does that come with a trophy or Europa League? And you might also be glad to know that the fans player of the year was Scott Yaya Field. Well, at least the Burnley team of the season looks decent. Wait, what's Danny Ings doing up front? Just bear with me two seconds. Janice, can you tell Andy, the support spokesman, that he's fired? It's nice to see the border being ambitious by telling me to avoid relegation again. I was so close to getting rid of Ben Mee, so close! Don't worry, I'm not going to sell Ashley Barzinho. Well, unless Watford were planning to spend quite a bit of money on him. For Michael Duff's testimonial, why are we playing Mines? He didn't even play for them, why can't we play Cheltenham Town? Haha, <laughs> but proud you, you'd still lose to them. Because FM haven't programmed this in the game, because he's retired, that means that it's not his testimonial anymore, which means it's just a friendly, so I'm playing a meaningless friendly against a team I don't want to be playing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Might get the coaches to train Danny Ings not to sliver around in the grass. You know what they always say, if you can't get into the Champions League, buy players who have played in the Champions League. Apparently Gadetti was unhappy that I said he was only going to be back up to Sordolino, which is true. But yeah, it was nice to sign Robert because I meant, you know, if plan A doesn't work, then I can always go to Hoofball. <laughs> wow, Proudy in America has really affected my material. <laughs> and the first outgoing transfer is Sam Bokes. He's off to Middlesbrough and I didn't actually know he was in my team. You could probably tell that I'm actually aiming to play defensively this season, hence why I've signed quite a few defenders. Fuck's sake, Cleverly, I'm promising you first team football, why won't you join me? So apparently the bookies have put me at 300 to 1 and they said that I could actually challenge for mid-table. Yet they predicted me to finish 19th, which is below Blackburn who have just been promoted to the Premier League. Cleverly, would you join me, you dumb twat? You know what, fuck Tom Cleverly, I said it, you know, fuck him. Actually, I wouldn't mind to be honest. So because Tom Cleverley's been a prick and he won't join me, I've signed his teammate Nick Powell on loan for the whole season. Now you remember Nick Powell, you know, the player that I failed to sign in the first transfer window I've ever had with Burnley? Yeah. Woo, the Chelsea fans are overjoyed that they've just won a Tim Pot trophy. Bloody hell, troll football would be having a field day with this. Why didn't the ref blow off for full time after Sordolino scored in the 43rd minute? I mean, 47 minutes of added time on. Disgraceful. So to aid us in our chances of winning something this season, the FA have drawn us against Northampton Town at home in the Capital One Cup second round. Oh, and before I forget, Ashley Barnes joined Crystal Palace for 5.5 million. So I don't want this episode just to be about pre-season, so we are going to play the first game of the Premier League season away at Swansea, and I want to play this game because we lost to them 3-2 last season after being 2-0, which spawned that video and of me swearing, and hopefully we are going to make amends for that. The Premier League is back, and we're going to win it. Morris, he scores on his debut. Who said 9 million was a waste of money? Okay, that's a good start to the season. We're winning at half time, and it's only 1 0. It's not 2 0 this time. Well, it looks like it's going to happen again. I guarantee you I will lose this game now. Morris! He gets his second! Morris picks up the ball. He beats one man. He shoots. He scores his hat trick on his debut! 9 million. What a fucking bargain bucket that was. Morris, he slides in. George Wine is 4 1! That boy Mares makes Messi look shite. Fucking hell, I was not expecting a performance like that. That was an absolutely sensational debut from Marezinho. I'm probably gonna have to work on that name, aren't I? I'm feeling like a star, you can't stop my shine. I'm bloody cloud nine, my head's in the sky. I'm solo, I'm riding solo, I'm riding solo, I'm riding solo, solo.